A portion of this video is brought to you by Paperlike. Paperlike is a multi-purpose screen protector for your iPad that not only protects your iPad's display from scratches and blemishes, but it also genuinely feels like you are writing on real paper. Paperlike just launched a new lineup of accessories for your iPad, including a Paperlike pencil grip and a new cleaning kit. More on Paperlike and the new Paperlike bundle a bit later in the video. So I've had the iPad mini 6 now for approximately 8 months, and this has become one of my favorite go-to Apple devices of all time. That is a big statement coming from myself because I've pretty much owned every Apple device there is at some point or another in my life. Earlier this week, I updated my mini 6 to iPadOS 16, and there is a lot to discuss here. In this video, we'll go over some of the new features that are now available on iPadOS 16, and we'll also discuss some new features that are missing on the mini 6 because unfortunately Unfortunately, this is an iPad that isn't equipped with the M1 chipset. How's it going everyone? My name is RJ and this video will be a little bit different. In this video, we'll be discussing my initial thoughts and going through some of my favorite changes to iPadOS 16, as well as going over some missing features that I wish we did have. If you guys want to see more content on the iPad mini 6 or just iPadOS 16 content in general, then do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video. It does help push my content to a larger audience and while you're at it, if you do find value in this video, then of course, subscribe to the channel. So Apple in general is well known for supporting their devices for years on end. This year, however, with iPadOS 16, Apple did limit some of their best features strictly to the M1 iPads. There are just three M1 iPads currently available in Apple's lineup. The M1 11-inch, the M1 12-inch iPad Pro, followed by the M1 iPad Air 5. All of Apple's other iPads are using an A-series chip, which won't get access to the biggest update to iPadOS yet, Stage Manager. We'll get into Stage Manager a bit later in the video, but first I want to show you guys all the new features we do get on the iPad Mini 6 running iPadOS 16. Starting off with the weather app. Yes, we finally do get a native weather application for the iPad. We've been waiting for this for quite some time now and it's finally here. Although even on iPadOS 16, there still isn't a native calculator app. It would have been great for Apple to get both of these applications out because I do feel like we do need a calculator on the iPad. But honestly, for the time being, if I had to choose between a weather application or a calculator application, I would have personally gone with the calculator. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which out of the two applications do you prefer if you had to choose between the two? A native weather app or a native calculator app? You also now have the ability to edit and undo text messages sent within iMessage. You can edit or undo messages within 15 minutes of it being sent. It's kind of crazy to think that now even iMessage has an edit button over Twitter. Speaking of iMessage, you can now choose a shared activity like watching a movie, TV show, or playing a game and enjoy together with someone else while chatting in sync via iMessage. Before we get into my favorite feature on iPadOS 16, I have to let you guys know about Paperlike and their new Paperlike bundle. You've probably heard of Paperlike before in the past and that is for a good reason. Not only do these screen protectors protect your iPad screen from scratches and blemishes, but it genuinely transforms your iPad screen into making it feel like you are writing on paper. Take a listen to the difference in writing texture while using an iPad with Paperlike versus using an iPad without Paperlike. As you heard for yourself, the iPad with a paper-like screen protector installed provides you with a much smoother, graceful writing experience. Just like writing on real paper. Paperlike recently launched two more useful accessories that I personally do use. An Apple Pencil Grip and my favorite, a Paperlike Cleaning Kit. Now, the Pencil Grip is interesting. I never truly realized how badly I needed one of these things until I started using it on the regular. When you order a set of Paperlike Pencil Grip, you'll receive two grips. A Comfort Grip and a Precision Grip. The Comfort Grip is perfect for long writing or drawing sessions and is designed to reduce fatigue and hand cramps. And you know what? It's actually been helping me a lot, especially during those long hours of taking down notes on an iPad. These grips do work with the double tap feature and they are compatible with magnetic charging. The new cleaning kit quickly removes dust, grime, and skin oil off of all of your electronics. It features an all-in-one portable container and quickly dries, leaving no lasting residue. I use this for cleaning my iPad, my iPhone, and even other devices like my Nintendo Switch. Definitely check out Paperlike if you want some of the best available iPad accessories that do enhance your overall iPad user experience. 
Links are in the description below. Getting back to the video, a new feature I really think can be useful is the iCloud shared photo library. Straight from your photos library, you can pick a picture and immediately send it off into a shared iCloud library to your group of family or friends. You can even edit and delete the pictures from within the library and the changes that you do make will happen in real time across the group's iCloud library. This feature in particular is very useful for me because I do take a ton of photos for all of my family events. I'm sort of like the designated family photographer. I didn't want this role but somehow I ended up getting it. So naturally, I'm the one in charge of sending photos to family members afterwards through WhatsApp or iMessage. Trust me, it's not the job that I asked for, it just sort of happened over time. However, with the family sharing feature, I can just look over the pictures I took on my iPad and send it off straight into the shared family library. It saves me a ton of time and makes the whole process of sharing images a whole lot easier. What I am curious to try out is an application coming to iPad called Freeform. Since the Mini 6 is compatible with the second generation Apple Pencil, I can see this application being excellent for real-time group collaborations. You have the ability to see, share, and collaborate on ideas in one place. You're able to view other group members' contributions as they do add or make edits. This application is coming to iPadOS 16 later this year and will be made available for the iPad Mini 6. Another powerful and useful feature is called Visual Lookup. Live text can now recognize text and images across the system and this feature is now available for video. You can tap on a video and quickly translate languages or convert currencies. My favorite thing to do with Visual Lookup is to lift out a subject from an image and send that image into another app like iMessage. And surprisingly, it does a really good job of cutting out the image. Within the notes application now, you can create handwritten notes with the ability to straighten the handwriting. You can also use your iCloud password to lock personal notes and add screenshots to quick notes. Dictation has also gotten a big overhaul. You can now quickly transition between voice touch and scribble with the Apple Pencil. So you can now essentially type with the keyboard or write with scribble, tap in the text field, move the cursor and insert quick type suggestions all without stopping dictation. In my experience, dictation has gotten a lot better. It's a whole lot more responsive now and it does understand what I'm saying about 99% of the time which is actually quite excellent. So all of this sounds great right? But as I mentioned earlier there is a big missing feature which is only made available to the M1 iPads and that feature is called Stage Manager. Stage Manager is a whole new multitasking experience for the iPad. You can for the first time ever overlap windows on the iPad and resize the windows as well. The window for the main application that you're working on is front and center, while your other recently used apps are off to the left for quick access when you need to swap windows. Stage Manager supports groups of up to four windows, plus another four more if you attach your iPad to an external display. Stage Manager enables you to unlock full external monitor support with resolution up to 6K. So you can arrange your workspace however you like and work with, as I mentioned before, four applications on the iPad and four applications on the external display. Now, I really don't see why Stage Manager is exclusively only made available for the M1 iPads. I'm pretty confident that the A15 Bionic chipset found inside of the Mini 6 is more than capable enough of running Stage Manager. Like this iPad was only released 8 months ago, there is no way these specs are already outdated. If I can edit 4K footage on this iPad without experiencing any lag or frame freezes, the Mini 6 for sure can run Stage Manager. But I just feel like we got slighted here by Apple. If you're wondering about changes to the lock screen, there really aren't any. The font is a little bit different, but that's about it. It's not like on iOS 16 where you can cycle through different lock screens and add widgets to it. There also isn't any changes to widgets or the home screen. The layout and the widget placement are all the same, just like what you find on iPadOS 15. That is pretty much it for all the major updates coming to the Mini 6 running iPadOS 16. With a big feature like Stage Manager missing, us iPad Mini enthusiasts may have to wait for an iPad Mini Pro featuring an M1 chipset to get useful features that iPadOS 16 has to offer. If you made it till the end of this video, I really do appreciate you watching all the way through and I want to know who you guys are so drop a peach emoji down in the comments below. And while you're at it, let me know what your favorite change is to iPadOS 16. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you check out today's sponsor Paperlike, there are links in the description below.